An operating system contains three user processes, each requiring two units of resource R. The minimum number of units of R such that no deadlocks will ever arise. Here there are three processes P1, P2 and P3. In the last question, the number of processes was not specified here. The total number of resources available in the system is not specified. Here there are three processes P1, P2 and P3. Each process need two units of resource R maximum during their execution. The maximum need of each process is 2. We need to find the minimum number of resources R such that no deadlock will ever arise. If the total number of resources available in the system is enough, if it is greater than or equal to one particular value, then it's sure that deadlock will not arise in that system. We need to find that minimum number of resources are such that deadlock will not arise. Suppose each process at a time each process is allocated with 1 minus their maximum need. So here each process is allocated with 1 resource and even after this allocation the available number of resources is 1. There is one more resource available. Now even if all these processes request for one more resource, we will be able to complete the execution of all these processes without causing any deadlock. Because one resource is available, we can allocate it to any one process. That process can complete the execution, it will then release all the resources held by it. Now the next process can complete, it will release the resources and the next process can complete. So here there is no deadlock. This can happen if the total number of resources available in the system is 3 plus 1, 4. So if the number of resources is 4, then there is no deadlock. No deadlock will arise in the system. And what if the number of resources is equal to 3? At a time if all the processes are allocated with 1 minus their maximum need. Means if all the processes are allocated with 1 resource, now the resources available will be equal to 0. Now at this moment if all the processes are making for one more request, if all processes are requesting for one more resource, since the resource available is equal to 0, we will not be able to allocate any resource to any process means uh, none of these requests can be satisfied and all the processes will be waiting and the entire system will move to a block state so now there will be deadlock. It means minimum 4 resources are required to avoid the deadlock and if the number of resources is greater than 4 then also there is no chance for deadlock in the system. So the answer is 4.